morning, good uh, evening, or good afternoon. My name is uh, Malik Aisi, VP Business Social and Risk Management Services at ABASIS. And I have the pleasure to share with you our revenue at risk model and why we think it's bringing unprecedented innovation to the industry. First of all, I'm going to browse very quickly the agenda. The agenda mainly is what is the problem we want to address? What is at, at stake? Why we just need this revenue risk model? Then I will explain what the revenue risk is, the main concepts, what are the tools we are using, what is the business model, and the underlying technologies we are using for this model and then go to conclusion. Well, we think that today the industry is facing from risk management approach, three main problems. The first one is the measurement, meaning the revenue at risk we are losing or we are risking to lose. We have different approach and the measurement is really a problem. The second one, is the management interactions. The management is not technical, and sometimes we, when you go to management, talking techniques and different approaches that are very technical detailed, they don't listen to you. But the most important problem is the fragmented way we are addressing risk. Security, fraud, and revenue assurance, sometimes they are not talking together. They are siloed. So this despite the fact our industry is growing very fast in complexity and business models ecosystem. What is implying? We are still losing money. And some estimation make it worth $150 billion per year in growing. Then what is missing? We think that Having an approach that can correlate risk performance investment, capable to aggregate and combine different competencies like technical expertise, finance and management, and best practices. Also, giving a direct view on the value contribution to the business plan is missing. Then we need a comprehensive approach, an operational tool that can have give a methodology to calculate the risk and have curve them down, whatever the domain is. Could be voice, messaging, roaming, signaling, whatever, being comprehensive. What are the concepts? This is the panel where I just uh, highlight that the roadmap risk model is based on KPIs, three main KPIs that are interconnected. Three main variables that are connecting, as you see, risk management and finance, because the growth is how much the company is growing by year. The parameters linking knock or the incidents, the budget and the maturity. Maturity power is the best practices coming from TM Forum, maturity models, and graphs that are easing uh, intuitively to understand what is on the, on the core outputs of the model. Let's go. The first set of graphs, we call it the vulnerability graph that is at the heart of what we are doing. You see on the upper side and the lower side, the same graph in different periods and different assessment periods. You see a very broken value chain. The value chain can be a combination of voice, messaging, signaling, mobile, whatever. In this use case, we had voice, messaging, A2P, and signaling. Very bad. And the lower is just showing how the model can help you to better align your value chain and make it greener. Red is bad, vulnerable, and green is you master your risks and your vulnerabilities. And all this is based on scoring extracted or derived from TM Forum approach and TM Forum methodologies with uh, maturity models. Before we come to the graph, we use a tool that is centric also 
which is the, the vulnerability control point. That is just simply, we have for each domain of control until 10 vulnerability control points. Each of them is extracted from the best practices or advices coming from the bodies in the industry like 3GPP, GSMA, FAS, QTM Forum, DRF. And we compare the company practices against these best practices in the sample, and we score them from failing to highly vulnerable to reliable and to highly reliable. And we have a global approach to answer each of these VCPs, vulnerability control points. The next one is the heat map. The heat map is a powerful tool to have a very granular uh, follow-up on the health check. Each of these vulnerability control points had this own health check, how they are moving from failing maybe, or from vulnerability to highly um, reliable, which is the highest ranking. So you have combining the VCP detailed check and you have the a sanity check panel for each of them. All these tools are available on demo. Because of sake of time or saving time, I cannot go into details, but they are activable and demo demoable. Now, let's go to what we call the business model and the value added. The model, I will not go into the bubbles, but just take attention on the four main boxes here. Clockwise, it's flexible, tailored to needs, means you can select whatever your pains are, being in the processes or the systems, or combining both, being on voice, mobile, whatever, the system is agnostic. It's a transactional, meaning the revenue risk help you to transact with your CFO or CX level. And it's very business oriented because we create value. It's a scalable. You can apply it at group level or at business unit level, even at revenue stream level. But the core of our business model is what we call the scissor graph. Scissor graph means what is the value we are creating. You see in the graph the revenue are growing and the risks in blue and yellow are decreasing. And in blue, you have the percentage of investment you need to give and it stay flat. The model is saying to a CFO, the company is growing, but we risk takers, caretakers, we can curve down this risk from 25%, for example, in this very use case that we applied to minus around 10% in a given period of 18 months. This is a commitment. And this should talk to a CFO. This is the core of the business model. Now let's, let's take about the competency in delivery, how we build the team. First of all, let me just say that iBasis are the global career covering voice, IoT, messaging, mobile, roaming, signaling, was very influential, inspiring. iBasis also is known are uh, covering more than hundreds of patents of innovation. So we were in the good company to give this innovation to the industry. If you see the teams, myself, uh, we all also aggregated our expert in security, anti-fraud and road measurements to identify the control points. Even we have account managers, customer care to give us the feedback of the market. And of course, our IS and engineering teams. For the competencies, you see we aggregated uh, cross-functional competencies like finance, like also business development that go to the market and see where the pains are, what are the problems to solve. And of course, our feedback from customers was helpful also. And we still think that the revenue risk model is a transversal team leveraging uh, synergies. So this is why we succeeded in uh, making it happen operational and working. Technology that are underlying. My main point here 
is to tell you that before we implement any technology like voice firewall messaging or signaling, we start with the top, detecting where the vulnerabilities are, sizing it in terms of revenue at risk, calculated correctly, build risk reduction plans, investment, ROI calculate, and then, and only then, we go implementing on our platforms on a leather mode, what is to pinpoint and what is to solve. We don't do it at reverse. That is something that we think that is best in the market and we don't have it combining different domains with the binding uh, methodology and approach. Very quickly, if somebody is interested in maths, very little maths, I give here a snapshot on how the model works and the model has been inspired by what we call discounted cash flow approach in finance. So we're using finance strong and robust experimented formulas to make our model consistent and executable. What next? What we want to do? We continue feeding the model because it's the learning model with vulnerabilities and threats identification uh, mitigation. We aim also to integrate this model into our technology platforms that we own or with third parties. And even we can bring it to the industry in a do-it-yourself mode because through a portal, it's clickable and anybody can do his own self-sanity check. Of course, we continue, we keep investing in our technology platform like FraudLock, for voice, security, uh, signaling platform and, and messaging platforms. We keep investing in, in our intrusion test technologies because those intrusion technologies are helping us to identify the VCPs, vulnerability uh, control points. And of course, we continue training our business development people. So my conclusion here, it is that this model is, we think, innovation. It's unprecedented and it will help to master technology, understand where the problems are before you activate the, the technologies. I will finalize just with sharing with you that this model has been awarded in the last Global Career Awards 2023. And it was uh, this mix between technology as usual and this model that helps the technology to better understand where the problems are and activate that and see the result in the financial dashboard. I will be very happy to take any question. And uh, thank you very much.